All right, I'm gonna share with you a way that you can literally save hours a day. This isn't an exaggeration. You can save hours a day uh, by being able to more quickly read, summarize, and analyze information that's important for you or your job. So we're gonna share this right now. Uh, all right, so if you don't know what this is, welcome. My name is Jordan Wilson. I am the host of Everyday AI. So we're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me, uh, not just learn AI, but how we can actually leverage it. So uh, one thing we've taught uh, thousands of people how to use ChatGPT and how to use AI in general. So uh, we're going to share with you real quick uh, a, a way that we can um, save a lot of time using ChatGPT plugins to save us literally hours a day. So what so many, you know, quote unquote knowledge workers do in, in this example, we're going to use a management consultant. So we're going to be uh, in this chat, we are going to be showing an example of how someone who is maybe a uh, mergers and acquisition analyst at a Deloitte as an example, or any management consult uh, consultant company can uh, better prioritize their time by correctly using uh, chat GPT and specific plugins within chat GPT uh, to uh, help them better use their time and energy. So uh, as an example, I'll show you just real quick what we started to do. Uh, but we gave uh, first, before we started, uh, this has uh, ChatGPT Plus. So it's $20 a month. Um, and we have certain plugins enabled that help us better uh, browse the web, uh, query the web, and also to rely on scholarly information um, in this article. So um, I'm actually training, um, and, and I'll go through this really quick, but I'm training this chat to understand. And I don't just say you, you know, assume the role of an analyst. I give it examples of what an analyst does, like as in this example um, at Deloitte, I give it a bunch of background information so, so it knows. And then I go through a little bit of back and forth, uh, making sure that this chat knows exactly what I want out of it. But that's not what this is about. Uh, the back the, the back training is extremely important, but we try to do these in five minutes so you can see um, kind of how powerful this is. So now what we're doing is I'm saying uh, at the bottom, I'm saying in this prompt, again, it's gone through a little bit of training, but I'm, I'm telling it to put all of this information in context according to my role. And again, in this example, I am a mergers and acquisition analyst at Deloitte. So here's what someone might normally do, you know, and whether you're doing this daily or once a week, you might be reading stories on companies that were acquired. So now I have this, and this is just uh, the most recent story. So, you, you know, I'm actually going to refresh this because it's, there's probably some, some newer information by now. So this is, uh, you know, up to 20 minutes ago. So in this example, you know, a Kansas city startup was acquired by a Texas based internet of things leader, right? This is the most up to date information because of how I set up these searches and I can just grab these URLs. So I'm grabbing, um, I'm grabbing that URL and then I'm throwing it inside this chat, right? Um, and then I'm grabbing now also, I'm doing another, a similar search. So I'm, I'm using Microsoft Bing. So I'm showing you how flexible this is. Um, but again, I'm searching by just news from the past 24 hours. So now I'm grabbing that URL um, and I'm throwing that in there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter because it's going to take some time because I gave a direction that um, it needs to look up. Um, and query the in, uh, query the internet for more context and more up to date information. So now you'll see it says using browser op. So it's going through all of these instructions that I told it to. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to talk about um, some other information that we're going to be grabbing. So maybe if you're a management consultant, you might spend time reading the Financial Times. And um, the thing is. Like again, when we talk about knowledge workers, so much is reading up to date information, right? Uh, which sometimes is fine. You know, it's you probably have uh, paid subscriptions to, you know, something like a Financial Times, you know, Wall Street Journal, uh, maybe, you know, I'm based in Chicago. So maybe like Crane Chicago as an example. Um, so you probably have paid subscriptions to, um, you know, different business publications, but you still need to keep up with everything else that's going on in the outside world. And that takes so much time because you have to go to sometimes a handful, maybe a dozen websites. You're reading all these articles, all these pop-up ads, and you're all just thinking, I have to read through this just to grab the information that's relevant to me, my job, and my role. Okay. So 
what happens then when you tell ChatGPT, here is my job, here's my job description, here's my role, here's what my company does in the MA space, here's what a successful outcome looks like. When you kind of go through some slight training with ChatGPT and give it all that information, now all of a sudden, when you go to a page like this, the Financial Times, it can go ahead, read through all of that and tell you right away, here's what's relevant for you and your role. So again, we are saving hours, hours. So let's go ahead and go back in. And I'm going to say, um, so this is great. We already, uh, we are already, uh, done with this, right? So fantastic. So it already says here are the main stories from the provided links that you need to know as an MA analyst at Deloitte. Sorry, I'm trying to get the right, um, zoom in here. So right away, it is not only reading through that list because there was a lot of things, right? So if, if I go back to this first link, there's things in there that we don't necessarily care about. Like, okay, here's something about a uh, company acquiring the rights to a movie, it looks like. But a trained chat GPT, I don't care about that. Here's things I care about. Here's things I don't. Okay. So it did a great job. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a couple other links. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and paste them into chat GPT. Okay. So now we have um, just information on mergers and acquisition. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this little part of the prompt. Again, if you just use that little piece of the prompt that I have there, which is please put each story into context about how it will affect my role. That only is going to work if you've gone through the proper steps of going through back and forth and doing some slight training and tuning uh, within this chat inside ChatGPT to let it know what you do and do not care about. Okay, so now uh, I found another website that has some basic information about acquisition. So I'm going to jump into ChatGPT. I'm going to put that there as well. And then um, let's see, I do have, I think, one more here. So let's go ahead here. And this is... Uh, from mergers and acquisitions called the middle market. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna paste that information now inside chat GPT. I'm gonna let it run. All right, so we're about seven minutes in. We try to do this in five minutes, but I hope you can see already um, the value of this, right? So uh, again, um, in this example where we gave it uh, a Google News URL, right? But only uh, timely, stories, timely articles, and we trained it, right? So instead of having to go through that results of, you know, 50, a hundred different results and you scrolling through and saying, okay, what's important for me? What's not? Then you click on each article. You're probably getting a bunch of pop-up ads, a bad user experience, and maybe you accidentally click on something and all of a sudden you're reading about, you know, a, a new movie or your favorite sports team, right? Um, it's, it's very hard on the internet to stay focused and not get distracted by outside noise because that's what the internet is built to do. That's why this is literally a hack within chat GPT to train it, to be your knowledge working assistant and to go through and only grab the information that is most relevant for you. So let's go ahead. It's probably going to be working here. So again, I left it three different news articles uh, that these are kind of news aggregating sites. And right here, it's already going through. This is amazing. Um, and it's just highlighting the highest priority things uh, that you need to care about. So, okay, like here we go. Microsoft's closure of Act, uh, Activision deal. This has been huge news. It's been dragging on uh, for a long time. So we're just getting high level newsworthy information that is relevant to you and your job. Instead of having to go in and read just in this short little eight minute video, we probably, uh, if, if I counted everything, there was more than a hundred different uh, you, you know, articles uh, that came up. But when you go through and you tell ChatGPT and you train it, here's my role, here's what I care about, here's what I don't, it's going to do a great job at saving you time. And then this is a prompt that you can run every single day. You can start your day, hit one enter, it already knows, and your day is off to the right track. All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, join us on a live stream coming up soon. Uh, so, Again, youreverydayai.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back for another AI in five-ish.